Uh, about 70% of Ghana is living in the rural areas, and conditions there are sadly quite harsh. You have schizophrenia, depression, bipolar disorders, anxiety disorders. For a whole country of 25 billion people, we have about 14 psychiatrists, and that translates, translates to about one psychiatrist per 2 million people. Basic Needs provides a system where there hasn't been a system before. The system focuses on economic and social well-being, as well as medical health. It begins by training primary care doctors, nurses and community volunteers to diagnose and treat mental illness in areas where there are no psychiatrists. One such nurse, Subsa Tawala, played a key role in the treatment of school teacher Francis Kubilla. Before they met, Kubila's violent behavior had led the village's traditional healer to lock him up. His family particularly thought that he was a danger to himself and to the community, especially his wife and children. He'd been locked down in his own home. Now, when I say locked down, I mean his leg had been pinioned in a large log. Then they used some nails to lock it so that the leg cannot come out. Kubila's family left him attached to the log for two years. Once the nurse diagnosed Kubila as suffering from psychosis, he gave him medicine that improved his condition quickly. Basic Needs then helped him, as it does thousands of others, find a new job. Finding a job is crucial to not only your survival, but also to the reduction of stigma, which means that you get accepted back into society. They've been helping to demystify mental health, and that has actually helped to remove some of the barriers and discrimination.